Hello guys, welcome back to another Android AdMob tutorial series. In this tutorial series, here I am going to show you how to integrate ads from AdMob in your Android app and how to make money from it. So first step of integrating Google Ads in your app is to integrate Google Mobile Ads SDK. So on the first video of this tutorial series, I am going to show you how to add Google Mobile Ads SDK to your Android Studio project. So we can begin with a new Android Studio project, open Android Studio and create a new project. From this window select MG Activity. Here you have to specify name for your app. Here I simply name the application as AdMob app. So here the app is successfully created in Android Studio. Now we can integrate the Google Mobile Ads SDK. Open your browser and go to the official documentation from AdMob. Simply type Android AdMob tutorial. Go to the first link. This is the official documentation from AdMob. Go to the get started page. First step, you have to make sure that the Google Maven repository added in your project level Gradle file. So expand the Gradle scripts in Android Studio. First one is the project level Gradle file. Open it. In the all project section, you have to make sure that this line is there. Next step, you need to add the dependency for download the Google Mobile Ads SDK. So copy this line. Again expand the Gradle scripts. This time open the app level Gradle file. The second one. Go to the bottom of this file. There is a section called the dependencies. How to paste that line here. Now click sync. So now here the project sync finished successfully. Now we need to make some changes in the android manifest.xml file. We have to add the atmob app id in the form of a metadata to the manifest file. So copy this metadata tag. Now expand the manifest folder, open android manifest.xml, find the application tag, here, here is the application open tag and here is the application close tag. You have to place that metadata between this application tag, paste it here. Now you need to specify your application id. When you create a new project in AdMob dashboard, you will get an app ID. But for testing purpose, you have to use a test app ID. So here we have a test app ID from AdMob. So you have to replace it with your real app ID before you publish your app on Google Play Store. For testing and debug purpose, you have to always use test sample AdMob app ID and test add on its ID. So for testing purpose, there is no need to create a new project in AdMob dashboard. So here I specify a sample app ID from AdMob. Now the final step, you have to initialize the Google Mobile Ads SDK. You have to do it only once in your Android app. Generally, you can do it in the onCreate method of your launcher activity. So in my case, here there is only one activity, that is the main activity. And here, main activity is the launcher activity. So I have to initialize the Google Mobile Ads SDK from the onCreate method of the launcher activity. Mobile Ads dot initialize, call the method initialize. This need two parameters. First one is context, 
and second one is on initialization complete listener by using this listener we can find out we can check the status of the google mobile ads sdk that's it so here we got some problem yeah add annotation to the class path now that problem is also solved so this is how we integrate google mobile ads sdk in your android application now we can add add units from admob i hope you understand the concept for getting more tutorial updates please subscribe my channel now in the next video we are going to place a banner art from atmob